Hi, uh, this is Dr. Habib Ahmed and today I'm going to show you how to overlay plots in Silva Kutikir or in other words you can say how to plot two different curves on the same figure. So here is the structure for that purpose it is gallium nitride based. This layer over here is uh, silicon doped gallium nitride at a doping level of 10 to the power of 19 per centimeter cube. And this layer over here is also silicon doped gallium nitride but with a different doping level. The doping level in this figure is 10 to the power of 16 per centimeter cube. <clears throat> then I have deposited a platinum contact on top of it and then we have two different silicon dioxide layers or you can see it better if I uncheck contours in this figure hit apply and then hit OK. So you can see the platinum contact and the silicon dioxide layers as well. And if I right click on the structure and then click on display once again, click on this icon and then hit apply, hit OK, you can see the anode and cathode contacts. So if you are familiar with gallium nitride based structure, <coughs> excuse me, you, know, you might know that this actually is a a uh, gallium nitride based short key barrier diode and we can simulate this structure under forward bias and then we can also simulate it under reverse bias. So if you look at the response of uh, this structure under forward bias here is the forward bias anode current versus anode voltage and then we can run the simulation for the same structure under reverse bias as well from 0 to minus 20 volts and here is the plot under reverse bias for the same structure. Now the goal is how to overlay these two onto the same figure where we can see the forward bias response of the structure and also the reverse bias response of the structure on the same figure. And then we can also look at the sem semi-log plot uh, for uh, this structure as well. <clears throat> so with this goal in mind I've written a code and generally the font size is really small in deck barrel interface of Silvaco TCAD so I've also copied the code in MS Word format so that you can see it better in the video. Uh, we start with Goethena, we make the structure in Athena and then we perform the electrical characterization of the structure in Atlas tool of Silvaco Decare. And then I introduce the meshing uh, which is a 1 micrometer by 1 micrometer structure initially and I will define uh, different spacings at different points for the meshing. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, then gallium nitride is not a by default, is it's not a user defined material in uh, the Athena tool of Silvago Decare. Like if you go to commands mesh initialize, uh, you look at different materials in the Athena tool, gallium nitride is not there. So there is a per particular format to introduce gallium nitride into Athena. I've already made a video on that, but I can give a quick review of that. Uh, the way we do it, we first introduce the impurities for gallium nitride, impurity I dot silicon material is equal to gallium nitride. We introduce silicon as a donor and magnesium as an ex acceptor. And then I initiate gallium nitride uh, with a silicon carrier concentration of 1 into 10 to the power of 19 per centimeter cube. Um, which is a 1 micrometer by 1 micrometer structure initially. And on top of that structure, I deposit another layer, which is 0 0.5 micrometers thick. I dope it with silicon at a doping level of 1 into 10 to the power of 16 per centimeter cube. And here is the spacing for the meshing. Uh, then I deposit platinum on top of that, which is 0 0.1 micrometers. Uh, deposit oxide on top of it which is 0 0.2 micrometers thick. Uh, H oxide on the right side and then I mirror the structure uh, to finally achieve this structure over here.
uh, then I define the anode and cathode electrodes uh, then I output this file with the name of gan5.str then we start working at least in order to perform the electrical characterization of the structure so as you can see we have output the structure of uh, 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 of the gallium nitride based uh, short key barrier diode with the name of gan5.str so the first thing that we need to do in atlas is to import that file into atlas as well so we do that then we introduce some models for example oj print which gives the runtime status of the program fermi concentration dependent mobility field dependent mobility boltzmann um, i introduced impact ionization uh, I introduced the cell per her model of impact ionization. Uh, then we want to look at uh, some uh, parameters in uh, the structure, for example, <coughs> excuse me, conduction energy level, valence energy level, uh, polarities, electron and hole mobilities, Shockley, Red Hall recombination, radiative recombination, OJ recombination, permittivity flow lines, etc. I introduced the Newton method into the code. Uh, then I've written solve initial in order to have an, an initial guess of the solution. And then I save the structure with the name of GAN7.str. And then I Tony plot it as well under thermal equilibrium. As you can see over here, it's GAN7.str. Uh, <coughs> and uh, then uh, I set a work function for anode which is 5.6 I initialize the solution once again I output a log file with the name of FB which stands for farberbys.log and I run the voltage sweep for the anode from 0 to 2 volts uh, with a step of 0 0.05 and we know that the turnout voltage for a short barrier diode is going to be much lower as compared to that of PN junction diode. So running the sweep and forward bias up to 2 volts should be enough. Um, and then I Tony plot uh, this uh, uh, curve under forward bias. And then I output another log file with the name of RB which stands for reverse bias dot log. I run this the sweep for the anode from 0 to minus 20 volts with a step of minus 0 0.1 and then I plot the uh, reverse bias curve as well and then in order to overlay uh, the two log files um, the forward bias curve and the reverse bias curve as well I use this really simple command of uh, overlay and uh, this overlay command is going to plot the forward bias curve and also the reverse bias curve on the same figure. And then finally I create the program. So now let us run the same simulation. The structure has been plotted. And let me extend this runtime output status window so that we can check the runtime status. We are, right now, we are running the code under forward bias from 0 to 2 volts. And it is running around 1.05 volts. 1.1 volt is going to go up to 2 volts. It's getting there. Okay, here is the forward bias curve, and I want to see anode voltage, anode current versus on anode voltage. So here is the IV characteristic of the gallium nitride based short key barrier diode under forward bias. Uh, we, are, we are running a sweep from 0 to 2 volts, and its turn on voltage is around uh, 1.05 volts. And at this point, 
uh, now we are running the code under reverse bias where we have applied uh, we are applying a voltage sweep from 0 to minus 20 volts on the anode it's running around minus 4.5 volts it's going to take some time in the meantime we can look at some parameters of the structure for example here is our structure and i want to see the doping profile so i go to contours define and define we are looking at absolute net doping so i hit on apply and then hit OK. And now you can, you can see um, uh, here is the reference doping level chart over here. Uh, this region has uh, a silicon carrier concentration of 10 to the power of 19 per centimeter cube. And this region over here has a carrier concentration of 10 to the power of 16 for, per centimeter cube. We can go back to the previous form of the structure and we can also look at the meshing etc let me check the status of the program it's running around minus 11 volts right now um, <coughs> we can also look at uh, some other parameters for the structure like for example let us check the energy band diagram across the interface for this structure. So I click on display and then I click on EC of T, EV of T, electron QFL, cold QFL. Then I hit apply. <coughs> so here is the energy band diagram of this structure under thermal equilibrium we see like a small barrier over here since it's not a pn junction in a pn junction you would see a big barrier but it's a short key barrier diode uh, where both these layers are in type one layer is heavily doped and the other layer is lightly doped so here we you see a smaller barrier and that's why you see a smaller turn on voltage uh, for uh, this structure as well and uh, this turn on voltage is going to be impacted by the work function of the platinum contact that we have introduced over here um, as a top layer. Let me show you the platinum contact. Here is the platinum contact that we have deposited at the top and we have defined it as the anode inside the structure. So here is defined as the anode. Click OK. <coughs> um, We have finished running the simulation, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump into the plots. I've already shown you the forward bias IV characteristic of this structure. Here is the reverse bias IV characteristic for the same structure. It's uh, around under reverse bias. The current is around zero amps. Uh, in fact, this is anode voltage versus cathode current. So I'm gonna display anode current versus anode voltage so you can see the current is negligible it's below zero and finally i have overlaid uh, the iv characteristic the far bias iv characteristic running from zero to two volts and similarly the reverse bias iv characteristic running from zero to minus 20 volt and you can see the reference color the red uh, curve represents the forward bias IV characteristic and the green curve represents the reverse bias IV characteristic and I've overlaid both of them onto the safe curve we can go to display and we can look at anode current versus anode voltage now here is the linear plot we can also look at the semi log IV characteristic characteristic for the same structure here is the semi-log IV characteristic for the gallium nitride based uh, short key barrier diode. So here is how we overlay uh, plots in Silva Gutierrez. Or in other words, here is how uh, we can plot two different curves onto, into the same figure in Silva Gutierrez software. I hope this session was informative, informative for you. 
I will talk to you next time. Till then, take care. Dalla paman.